Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. So I know the quality looks like real terrible right now. I'm on my phone because both of my camera batteries are dead for whatever reason. I am coming today to show y'all my five to nine routine. You know how people say nine to five, but this is gonna be my, nine, my five to nine. It's really gonna be like five to like, one o'clock in the morning. But right now I just got off of work. It's like 5.02 or something like that. I have so much stuff to do. So first on the list is go to the gym. So we're about to do that. Then I need to come home and exactly put all this laundry up i still have more in the dryer so i have to do that i have to edit today i'm thinking about cooking today but i'm not 100 percent sure um but i just have a lot to do i have to send some emails i need to clean my room it's just so much that i need to do i'm about to finish getting ready for the gym and then we're gonna head out okay we're in the car we're in the car it's very hot it says 90 degrees but i know it's not 90 degrees outside i think it's just 90 degrees in my car i have to stop and get gas first because i have 94 miles i don't know who was this list there gas Gas tank get that low why do i do that i don't know i just hate going to get gas by myself like i told y'all in the other vlog i am sweating i should put on a tank top it's a beautiful day i'm about to go get this workout on and get all this stuff that i need to do done um i can't drive with y'all up unfortunately because my camera battery is dead so i can't even have my camera up there and then i also my phone mount that one from target didn't work i did actually take that back though got this little snack because i'm so hungry i haven't ate since this morning it's a raspberry sun blessed some sun belt a raspberry sun belt bar it's a raspberry sun belt bar i have been doing calorie deficit because i am really 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 like trying to lose this <laughs> extra weight girl i don't know i'm my goal right now is to lose about 50 pounds i'm not gonna lie to you i feel like when i lose 50 pounds i'll be at a good place when i was on keto i lost about 15 pounds um i feel like i've put some of that back on like keto really helped me kind of get it down so i'm looking to lose about 50 more pounds and see what i look like and what i can do there um i just want a healthier lifestyle like i want to be in the gym all the time i want to be eating right and stuff like that because it just makes your body feel better i have legs so i think about my daughter now i want to be able to be up running with her and doing all this stuff with her when i'm 45 50 years old so that's what i need to do and i actually love working out i I don't love running. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like running is the worst thing for me, but I do really love working out. You know, getting stronger, getting gains and stuff like that. But I'll tell y'all more about my diet and what I've been doing as far as losing weight and everything like that a little bit later because I do have to go and I'm sure there's like so much traffic. So I'm going to just go ahead and go. Later. I'm going to be so honest with y'all. <laughs> I am so hungry. I mean, I am so hungry. Like, it is 9 57 i just got home from the gym and everything well i went to the gym and i went to target to see if i could find like something to eat and everything and i got a tv dinner but i want to eat it after i get done put my clothes up and take a shower so i kind of want to eat it while i'm watching like something this is sugar-free jello it's only 10 calories y'all this is one of the hardest things i've done in a long time so i thought i would come on here um and tell y'all like what i'm doing as far as diet and exercise so as you may know i was on keto for a little while please ignore all of this but i was on keto for a while um i was doing really good i did keto for about how many months did i do it for um i did it up until november up until the end of november so thanksgiving was when you know i went to eat thanksgiving food and did not come back so that is basically when my keto stopped i don't remember for how long i was doing it i want to say like a month or two that i was doing it but i'm not 100 percent sure i feel like the main reason i decided not to go back to keto is because i kind of wanted a little bit more freedom as far as what I could eat and I know keto has a lot of things where you're able to like work stuff into your diet and things like that but me personally it was just kind of hard to find like sides and stuff like that like I could make them but I didn't always feel like cooking I didn't always feel like doing all that so so what I decided to do was to go into caloric deficit and that is literally the only way that you can lose weight is by going into caloric deficit um and this is not going to be something I've decided to do this because it's not something super strict so 
you know some diets it's like okay you can't eat this you can't eat that my whole thing is counting my calories and i feel like that will really help me and it's been very difficult if you go to calculator.net and i'll put that up on the screen here you're actually able to put in your height and your weight and what you want to do how often you exercise and it'll tell you about how many calories you need to stay under a day or how many calories you need to eat at least a day for mine i put in that i want to have um, extreme weight loss and that put my height and my weight in i'm five six i'm not telling you how much i weigh so don't even think about it enough enough for me it was telling me that i should stay under 17 60 a day 17 1760 calories a day is what i need to do to have extreme weight loss so i have been trying to stay on that and with that i don't have like a calorie tracker or anything like that i just simply put everything that i eat in my notes so anytime that i eat something or anything like that i put it in my notes so that i can keep track of that and how many calories it is each time and with this you really don't have to like you don't have to overdo it or anything like that and i felt a lot more freedom with this because i was able to eat a burger y'all i didn't have no breakfast but i was able to eat a burger and i had to eat a smaller dinner but i was willing to sacrifice it for that day but i feel like with this like if i go out to eat or something like that i'm able to have mashed potatoes or i'm able to have rice or something like that like i don't have to kind of substitute i know that it's easy to substitute but i feel like this would just be kind of easier for me if i know that i'm going out to eat i'll probably just eat like a granola bar or some fruit or something like that earlier in the day just to kind of hold me over so that i know that i can eat a little bit more calories later in the day I've been working my way through that. I'm not going to lie. I'm hungry. Like, I'm hungry. Um, I'm used to probably eating a lot more calories than that a day. I never paid attention to my calories. So, I don't know. I need to incorporate more, like, zero-calorie snacks or something like that into my diet. But, honey, those are expensive. I'm not going to lie to you. Eating healthy is expensive, and nobody tells you that. I bought a box of protein granola bars, and they were, like, $6 for five. I have granola bars. I can't even eat one every day because I'm going to be out of them and need, to need another box next week. But yeah. So that's what I've been doing as far as nutrition because you know, when you're trying to lose weight and gain weight or do anything with your weight, nutrition is the main thing. Like, yeah, you have to do diet and exercise, but if you're in the gym and you're not eating right, then it's kind of redundant because what are you doing? I have just been in the gym and I have been trying to get back to eating right and everything like that because I was going to the gym and I wasn't losing any weight because I was eating however I wanted to. So that's the journey I'm on right now. So now I need to put these clothes up goodness all these clothes on my bed and i have another hamper right here full of stuff that i need to put up i'm about to just turn on some music and just get it done and clean up real quick get it done so that i can eat my actual meal because i'm really hungry <laughs> It is 11.40. I just got done putting all my clothes up and cleaning my room. I still have to get in the shower, eat, and edit. I'm really tired. I just want to go to sleep. But I really need to get in the shower and do everything because I'm hungry. Um, I told myself I was going to edit that video tonight. At least partially edit it. And I need to do like my skin routine and everything like that. So, I'm tired. But discipline is going to make me do it. I'm about to go in the shower. I style my clothes and everything like that. That I'm going to put on after the shower. Let's go do that now. Okay y'all, it is 12.14. I'm so tired, but I am so hungry. So I'm about to cook this little Lean Cuisine Alfredo with chicken and broccoli. Sure, it's not gonna be the best. 280 calories though, and I don't have that many calories left. So this was the best option for dinner. I don't know if I'm even gonna have time to edit because I have to get up at seven something tomorrow and it's 12.15. I'm probably gonna be pretty tired tomorrow, but it is what it is, you know, this comes first. 
the other work is just my side hustle. <laughs> it's so crazy to me that now when I'm trying to cut my calories and everything, they have all the snacks in the world. Like, let me show you. I don't even like these that much, but I want it because I'm hungry and I want these. <laughs> they have fruit snacks, Swiss rolls, like cookies, ice cream, just, ugh, just everything. I feel like I need to make meals that are more fulfilling with less calories. And I, it's, I find it kind of hard to do that because I don't like to cook that much. The other day, I actually cooked some pork chops and some seasoned rice and it was actually really good and it was really filling but i only like it for one day like i don't really like leftovers that much <sighs> another minute 30 that i have to wait for this to be done y'all look at this that does not look that appetizing at all like where is the alfredo sauce i'm disappointed it's okay we're gonna add like some salt and pepper and hopefully that does something to it because honey I'm hungry. I'm going to eat it anyway. I'm just not even going to lie to you. Okay, you guys, it is 12.34. I am beyond tired. I'm sitting here eating my food and editing my video. I'm really tired. I don't know if I'm going to finish this video tonight. I'm probably not. I'm about to just finish eating and go to bed because I know I have to get up tomorrow. I've been trying to like stay up more and stay up later and to get more done. Like because, of course, I can only do so much during my work day as far as like my content and everything goes and i have weekends but the weekends are usually filled with stuff so it's a little bit harder for me to get all my content and everything in during the work week so i've been trying to kind of stay up and drink energy drinks and give myself more energy as far as the work day so that i can stay up later and do everything that i'm trying to do ignore my nose ring like hanging out of my nose that is crazy but yeah, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I want to just show y'all how I fit my content and how I fit everything that I'm trying to do in after, you know, 5 o'clock. So, but alright you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.